Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be explaining how to create and configure a MIDI track in Pro Tools. So we've talked about audio tracks, aux inputs, and uh, master fader input tracks. Okay, so now we're going to get into MIDI. There is a MIDI track and there's also an instrument track. We're going to start with the MIDI track. Okay. How do you create that? Well, if you go to Track, New, then you select here the type and you select MIDI track. Check what happened. There's no mono or stereo option associated to a MIDI track. Why does that happen? Well, the reason is because MIDI does not transfer audio information. There's no um, panning associated to this. So there's no mono, no stereo. There's no audio information. MIDI is just data. MIDI tells you a node value and a velocity associated to that node value. That's pretty much it. Okay, MIDI is data that you use to trigger a virtual instrument or a synthesizer, and that virtual instrument and or that synthesizer are the ones that are capable of actually recreating audio, but the MIDI itself cannot. Okay. So we're not going to hear anything today. There's no audio being played back today. Not with MIDI tracks. So you do one MIDI track. We're going to leave it in ticks because MIDI are tick based. And we're just going to leave it as MIDI. Okay, so there's my MIDI, my MIDI track, MIDI 1. And, you know, if I record and enable this track and I play my MIDI controller, we're going to see there, there's some information going on. Okay. If we go to the mix window, window mix, okay, and once again, this is narrow, I'm gonna make it wide by going view, narrow, back to wide. You can see here, the meter, it, it goes all the way from zero to 127. Those are MIDI values. You don't see dBs, there's no decibels here. Why? Because there's no sound associated to this. So if I press the keyboard, yeah, you're going to see something going on. If I press it soft, you kind of see it kind of around 32-ish. If I press it loud, you know, if I hit those keys kind of loud, you're going to see it goes all the way up. Okay. So that's mid-information. Um, once again, we're not listening to anything. You know, we're not hearing a synthesizer. We're not listening to a, you know, drum kit. There's no audio coming out from this. Once again, it's just a note value with the associated velocity to that note value. That's MIDI. If you wanted this to actually somehow reproduce sound, you would have to send this MIDI track to a virtual instrument within Pro Tools, or you could send it out of your interface using a MIDI cable into a synthesizer, maybe a workstation, a keyboard, and that workstation, that keyboard, that synthesizer would receive that MIDI information and it would use it to trigger its internal uh, sound engine to produce audio. And then to get it back into Pro Tools, you would need to create an audio track to record that information. Now, if you use a virtual instrument, which is pretty much the same of what I just described, but all within Pro Tools in a plugin, you'd be able to listen to that. But by now, just keep, keep, you just want to make sure that MIDI as itself, as a MIDI track, only stores MIDI information, which is a note value and a velocity associated to it. And that's a MIDI track in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Keep in touch and make sure that you watch the next tutorial where we're going we're gonna to be explaining how to use, uh, how to create and, and configure an actual instrument track which includes many information, and it actually plays back sound. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.